So I got an intel that Vacation Simulator got like a hand tracking update. That's gonna be cool to kind of check it out because specifically I want to see how they solve the locomotion kind of with hand tracking because in the Vacation Simulator you have kind of like a teleport mode pretty much. The only kind of official uh, function I saw was in Elixir that you had to make like kind of a trapezoid shape in order to move around. So I'm curious how they solved it here. As well as I wish, side note, the patch notes would be like kind of more obvious because with growing like library of quest store, it's harder and harder kind of to keep up what's new or like what's like updated. I wish Oculus look implement something easier to kind of just to know what's happening on the like in your library. Anyways, uh, let's. Great. Just now pick that up and, and yeah. So I know vacation simulator have like simplistic uh, mechanics. It's pretty much just you know moving around with your controllers and then kind of trigger action. So I'm not very surprised that vacation simulator got a health driving update. It kind of makes sense with this game. You're not using the full potential of your controllers with this game to be fair. So use this gesture to teleport. Ah, okay, so they did it like kind of pull, kind of mechanic, like that, okay. Okay, I don't need an intro. <laughs> so basically look at where you want to go, so like straight up and then pull. Okay, yeah, that's actually very easy. I remember there was like kind of turning or whatever, so you had to kind of turn in real life, so... It's fun, like you that. Okay, so pick it up. Pretty straightforward, just thumb and your index finger. It works surprisingly well. Not really like, you know, mind blowing, but like for the hand tracking that we have on Quest, that's actually not that bad considering for this game. This is not like a high impact, kind of high intense gameplay. It's pretty much kind of just chill stuff, especially that we're on vacation. <laughs> What's funny is that you get this, you know, backpack, right? Uh, you have to put it on your like kind of shoulder. So I like your hand disappears, obviously, because it's out of reach of the camera. But they kind of did that. It, it's you can pick that normally. So for some reason, so mm -hmm, okay. Don't grab Smile. Tap it. Wonderful. Now this is vacationing. <laughs> Things tremble for some reason. I don't know why. I think I have wrong lightning in the room. Okay, let's challenge it a bit. I remember there was kind of like a volleyball uh, challenge. So I want to kind of. See how they handle the way. hand tracking. Here we go. Yeah, just don't do like, you know, very fast movement because hand tracking is finicky. Ah. Oh shit. Got him. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit, not this side. One, two, three. That was satisfactory. Okay, that works, kinda. Oh, Just amazing. be careful with the movements, that's it. The hi. Oh, hi there. Are you also on vacation? Great. Picking up seems fine. Just to check out the basic of the basics. Here, here, here. Grind that big hot cream carton iced tea coffee. This is just water. <laughs> Let's see other throwing techniques. So we have this snowballs. I wonder how like kind of impact or like just momentum can you get with this? It kind of predicts where you would shoot when you lost tracking of the hand, I think. Kind of. Yeah, with throwing it's very like kind of hard because it's just purely lit limitations of the hand tracking but it could be done a little bit I mean 
At least at you I can throw, right? Hello, human. Shit. This mountain is Get her. with majestic moths. Would you be so kind <laughs> as to bring me three to look at I think if you throw like straight straight like that it works the best. Yeah, seems like that. Not very like over the shoulder kinda thing. Just like from you I'm not hitting it. <laughs> from kinda like your chest. Yeah, okay. I mean, for me, that's pretty much it, you know. This game is uh, just about exploration and just it's essentially job simulator 2. So that's pretty much it. And uh, with hand tracking, it's kind of, you know, more fun to play. More kind of dynamic things like throwing stuff. I think just to not struggle, the controllers would be better, to be honest. But like, it's essentially a very small kind of percentage of this game. Most of the things you do kind of with not like precision, but like slowly kind of steady things. So yeah, that's definitely a good addition to the game, for sure. I mean, there wasn't really a reason to not include it in the game, but at the same time, this game I think released before hand tracking even was a thing. So cool, added value to this.